Britain's first atomic bomb was exploded among the desolate, little-known Montebello group of islands. There are something like a hundred of them lying off the northwest coast of Australia, and early in 1952 they were declared a prohibited area by the Australian government. Indeed, these barren islands provided the best possible site for the operation. The main force of British scientists went out in June in HMS Campania. HMS Narvik was one of the tank landing ships providing living quarters for men on the job. HMAS Hawkesbury typifies the Australian fleet's responsibility of ensuring continuous reconnaissance of the area. There were months of intensive preparation and hard work before the test. A great amount of scientific material had to be taken to the spot and set up. Road laying was carried out by the Royal Australian Air Force. There was indeed quite a tough program for all Navy, Army and Air Force units engaged. The effect of the explosion on Anderson shelters and special structures made of concrete blocks would help civil defence to design atom bomb protection. For the test, the bomb was placed in the frigate HMS Plym, and when all was set, the other ships and the scientists left the vicinity. As zero hour approached, the last group of scientists to leave went aboard HMS Tracker, which steamed away to a safe distance. Dr. Penny, who has since been awarded a knighthood, seen with Rear Admiral Tolles, directed the scientific side of the experiment. And now, as the moment of detonation draws near, the atmosphere in the control room becomes increasingly tense. In a few seconds, Britain's first atom bomb will burst at faraway Montebello. After the first blinding flash, Dr. Penny turns round with a smile of satisfaction to...